friends, it's Angie, your teen librarian, coming at you with another edition of Teen Art Club. And I'm especially excited for this one because we're going to be making spooky trees for our spooky season. Happens to be my favorite season. Uh, love everything spooky. And of course, it is the season of the pumpkin spice latte. So I'm here for it and I hope you're here for it too. So for, um, for our spooky trees, so we're going to need pipe cleaners and crepe paper and stick glue and one of the most important things from my point of view as I've spent a lot of time cleaning glue off my surfaces uh, is this sheet of paper that I'm using or you can use anything else you might uh, have on hand to stop the glue from getting on the table or whatever surface you're using. Uh, so to get started we're going to start with constructing the base of our tree and we're going to wrap it so it's not going to be this yellow I promise you. Uh, nor will it be this lovely sheet of blue. So you're gonna start with your pipe cleaners. We're using pipe cleaners. You can also use some um, like jewelry wire or something else that's moldable. What it looks like doesn't matter as much as the fact that it's moldable and it's going to do a decent job of holding its shape. So you're gonna wrap some smaller um, sections of pipe cleaner to create some branch effects and got a couple I've already done here. You wanna make them so that they don't have to go in the same direction. This one's got three directions that's going on. And if you're looking at this thinking, that is a mighty skinny wimpy tree, you would be correct. It's not all we're doing. Uh, our next step is of course to wrap that. So I've got one here that I've already started because I don't think you'd be very interested in watching me meticulously wrap a, a section of tree. I don't know, maybe you would be. Maybe you would be. Um, in the meantime, I am going to drone on about how excited I am about this season. Um, spooky books, all about my spooky books. Have you guys been into the library to see our really fun spooky book display? There are, as a matter of fact, some of these trees on the display. So you can go to the library and not only check out a really fun spooky book to like, you know, get those, get those great October chills, you can also see my trees in action. So what I'm doing here is we tell I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I have not done a very good job of explaining this. Uh, with the crepe paper, you wanna rip it into smaller sections because we're not just covering it, we're also creating texture, which is one of the important reasons that we're using crepe paper. Um, but it's not, of course, the only option. You could also choose to use that brown wrapping paper that comes in like an Amazon package or wherever you get your packages from. Um, I've been getting a ridiculous amount of Amazon packages lately. I'm guilty there. And use that because I feel like that would also have a really nice, uh, oh, my glue is running out. Did not plan this very well. Have a really nice texture. Uh, it, it's also like, you know, that brown paper. So it could be like a more realistic looking tree if you if you didn't feel like going down the spooky road with me. Uh, just putting glue on here because we want it to stick nicely and not be shaken off. There we go. And wrapping it on here. And it's better to use these smaller sections, I think than um, wrapping it all at once because that's when it gets like gets more air in it and starts to stand up and give it a different look but I really like these trees because I feel like they're almost impossible to mess up as well as looking super cool because you can just keep wrapping over your mistakes and think about all the trees you've seen do they, they don't have to look the same their texture is like you know like us humans everything the trees experience shapes shapes how they look shapes how they act shapes how they uh how they grow so when you see a lumpier tree maybe it, it needed that extra lump maybe i needed to wrap it 12 times you never know and we'll just wrap it so that none of its bright yellow pipe cleaner center is showing if we can if we can manage that there we go and once it's 
all wrapped like that. You'll want to wrap at least three of them, which I happen to have already done. Got my other two over here. So they look kind of cool. And here's the next important step is we're going to wrap them together to create this nice Halloween tree shape and give it that, that spoopy grown together effect. And if you see this, you can kind of give it like a braid effect or you can do more wrapping. Um, kind of looks like they've grown together, which I love. The idea of like trees sitting close together and just growing until they're one. How fun is that? Spooky and cool and then you want to turn the bottoms, the bottom square of the sections are your roots and the tops are your little spooky tree. And they unfortunately do not stand up very well on their own so they need some support which is why they make a good book end which is where mine will be. Um, but this is where I'm stopping with this one because I think he is pretty cute and pretty perfect. I just think they're neat. Um, you can see he's got some decent size to him. Those branches. This one might be my favorite I've made so far. Um, and then it's really cool. You can put them on things, of course, to help them stand up. And you can mold those roots to hold on to things too. You can push it down, make it hold on. Um, but again, it's top heavy, so it will not stand up without some assistance. So, that down, and there are things you could do to make it bigger. You could, of course, just make it longer, and then you would want more to, like, thicken it up. Um, you can also wrap another one and wrap it around it to give it some extra girth. That's an option. Um, but in the meantime, check out this beauty. Pretty happy with it. So, yeah, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope everyone's having a great spooky season out there. We'll see you at the library.